5 Money Rule Secrets That Will Unlock Your Abundance Do you know the basic rules of money attraction? And are you following them? Let me share with you 5 money rule secrets that will definitely unlock your abundance. Let's get into it now! Number 1. Invest rather than spend. Put your money to work for you. Look at your purchases or spending as investing rather than splurging. Oftentimes, people with a low level of wealth consciousness view spending as a waste of money. When you go out and spend money on clothes, on a fancy dinner, or this car, view it as investing rather than spending money. For example, you bought a new suit, and you can think of this as spending money for a luxury item, but think of it as investing for a potential event to attend to in the future, or a job interview. You can also think of it as making you feel more abundant. Looking at it from a law of attraction person's perspective, it's important to feel abundant because what you feel is the gold standard. Therefore, if you spend on new clothes, bags, or shoes, and it's making you feel abundant, then you're investing in vibration. Your vibration is what attracts things to you. Now, make sure to bring this new perspective to your new purchases. View every penny as an investment into yourself, your health, your future, your well-being, your wisdom, your prosperity. This perspective will raise your abundance frequency and reinforce the belief that it will grow and come back to you. Number 2. Always speak positively about wealth. This has something to do with how you speak about money and how you speak about people who have money. Have you thought of how many times you heard of negative things about wealthy people? A lot, right? They say, wealthy people are greedy and they don't pay taxes. There's always this judgment correlated to wealthy people. So many movies are made to sow this thought in our minds that rich people are bad, evil, mean, greedy. But poor people are with loving hearts, helpful, and nice. But if you'd like to attract money, you have to turn this perspective around. You have to speak positively about money and wealthy people. Why so? Let's say for example, you say negative things about people who are wealthy. This manifests your personal feelings of guilt. The main reason why people who don't have money actually do not have wealth is because they feel like they shouldn't have it as they might become bad people or being wealthy is not fair to others. Now, how can we flip this around? You need to reframe what it means for a person to be wealthy and why it's a good thing for someone to be wealthy. How do you actually do it? When you encounter a wealthy person, think on a positive note that this person employs a lot of people or this person keeps a lot of businesses afloat. Think about how many great things you can do and create with money. On the law of attraction basis, you want to label and think of wealthy people in a positive way. It will give you permission to be a wealthy person rather than staying in the mindset that it will be bad for you. Money just reveals a person's heart. Money will create evil, suffering, dominance, control when it's in an evil person's hands. Money will create happiness, joy, health, great memories, awesome moments, fabulous travels, comfortable living, peace and care in a loving person's hands. Number 3. Dressing and acting is the part to attract money. Put yourself together like someone who attracts money. Dress to impress, just like what they say. It's helpful to stay polished, just like a CEO, to attract more money. Think, how do you feel in a great, quality, good-looking outfit? 
Do you feel the same in your pajama as in your party or wedding clothes? When do you feel more confident, more wealthy, more uplifted, more attractive, more like you want to communicate? Remember that it will be easier for you to attract money if you're dressed and behave naturally like someone who reflects money energy. Note that you can do what you can with what you have now. It could be as simple as ironing your shirt, cutting loose threads, washing your face, brushing your hair, polishing your shoes, or making yourself look like somebody who can be seen in a Rolex store or riding a Ferrari. You can be one of those people, and you can start it with your physical appearance as it'll give you a better inside feeling and feelings bring energy. Uplifted energy attracts wealth and abundance. Number four, live by the phrase, I'm going to have that someday. People who think abundantly and attract a lot of money, when they want something, they usually say, I'm gonna get that someday, instead of, I can't afford that. For example, a wealthy person would like to have a car or a house. They wouldn't say that they can't afford it for now but that someday it will be theirs. This way, it will enhance abundance and wealth. Avoid saying that you can't afford it or we can't afford it because it creates a barrier that prevents abundance from coming your way. You basically are blocking the abundance energy. Let's say for example, you want something like a house or a Tesla or a housekeeper then give yourself permission to manifest that someday you're gonna have it. There's no need to know how this will be achieved or when or where. Just manifest it and let it come to you. Number five, you have to give to get. Do not cling on to your money out of fear rather than giving. Hoarding your money out of fear that this might happen or you might not be able to pay bills gives you that big energetic block with the flow of money. Now, these belief structures are projected that become reinforced with less money coming to them. Basically, it's like the more you hold on tighter, the less comes. When you start letting go of money easier, the message you're trying to protect is that there's more than enough and it will come back even more. It may not be easy to let go of your money, but it makes a huge difference if you get in the habit of giving to also receive. We need to learn the balance in every aspect. Giving and receiving is one of them. Those are the five basic rules to money attraction. Start attracting money to put more in your pocket. Practice these rules and make them a habit. Then money will be coming in easier and faster. Thanks for watching. And please click the like and subscribe button. See you on the next one.